Hey there, Lincoln Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lincoln Riff, in which I'm going to teach you one of my favorites the one finger chord change exercise. Okay, the one finger chord change. Um, this exercise is both technical, creative, and it trains your ear. That's why it's one of my favorites, because it gets your fingers used to new shapes. It enables you to be creative with the chords you create, and it trains your ear to hear the chords that you find and to hear the relations between them. Now, it's also a pretty nice um, theoretically musical uh, exercise because um, it revolves around the idea of voice leading. Voice leading, in case you don't know, and then we're gonna start the exercise, um, is the way that chords lead into one another. Because if you move a bar shape around, okay, all notes go in the same direction. That's not the best voice leading. Voice leading would be something like this. Okay? Where some of the notes go up, some of the notes go down, and some of the notes remain in place. And some of the best voice leading is done when you just change one of the notes and create a new chord. So that's what I'm gonna show you. This is what the exercise is all about. So we're gonna start with regular, normal, majors, minors, and then we're gonna get completely creative and move notes around in a freestyle manner to create new sounds and new chords. So uh, the best example that I can give you to start this exercise and get you started on voice leading is this. You probably know this sound. So this is basically an A chord, five, six, seven on strings two, three, and four. And if you move the seven on the D, on the D string on the fourth, if you move it down to six, you get C sharp minor, okay? And if you move it down to five, you get A seven. Move it down to four, okay? And you get, F sharp seven, okay? Because it's F sharp. So, okay, F sharp seven or F sharp minor seven, okay, you don't have the high note. So who knows? Okay, so, okay, the five and six on strings two and three remained in place. But we had seven, six, five, four on the D string. That's voice leaning. And that's what I want you to figure out. So let's start with this and try to move something else around. You can move the six to seven and again, then you get a sus chord, a sus. You can move it upward and get an interesting chord. You can then move the five down to four and see what you get. You get the same note, okay, which is nice. Okay, if you play it twice one after the other. But let's try a different direction. Go back to A. Try to move the five to six. Okay? And then instead of moving the six to seven, okay, which you can do, try something different. So five to six, and then the six on the third string down to five. And then the seven on the D string up to eight. And we get this beautiful chord. You see? Randomly, just randomly, just one finger at a time. Now it trains you to change the shapes. It trains you to change shapes as you move along and find new fingerings. starting from A, from five, six, and seven. You see, I get completely different results. So,
different results. Now, go to strings one, two, and three and try it. Um, or stay and try it from the same fret, five, five, and five. see what you get. Then try it on strings one, two, and three. At a different place, eight, nine, ten. doesn't sound good just move on and it will resolve into something that sounds nice um, as you go along after you've done this for a while try it with four strings try it with four strings this opens up a world of possibilities try it with an A chord okay five five six seven okay or a B chord okay same shape it's an F shape up on seven so seven seven eight nine okay so you can start I get something different. You can continue. You see, uh, it's it's a nice exercise. You can just start from the same frame. You see, just starting from the same frame, and I just raised one note, lowered another. whole new fingerings, whole new possibilities. It's, 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 it's a great exercise. Try it for yourself. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and um, enjoy. Bye for now.